is your big chance. The golden ticket, the winning buckshot prize. What people tell me if I can get just one deer around these parts, I'll have enough money to pay off my mortgage. And buy a couple of pot roasts too while I'm at it. Whoa, 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 ah. hey now. What's happening? What's going on? Look, man, don't shoot, all right? I got a job interview this afternoon, and I don't think they hide dead carcasses, do you? You can speak! It's called, How the hell can you speak? It's called using your brain, Dumbo. Maybe you should try it instead of stuttering for a change. <laughs> what? Can't, can't you string a few words together? Jesus! You're a freak of nature. There's physically no way you can be speaking right now! Look, man, I, I'm just as startled as you, all right? I, for one, didn't expect to have a, a gun pointed at my face. If you wanna... Oh, yeah. right, sorry. Oh. It's nothing, it's just I don't want to die. That's all. Oh, can you keep your voice down? I think I've got a headache. It's funny you say that when a moment ago you were ready to put a bullet in my head. I said I was sorry, all right. It's not like you just walk into the woods hoping to find some game to sell. I need to find a talking animal. Prince him up to it. What was it again? A job interview. A job interview. A job interview? Some of us have to put dinner on the table. Only in this situation I'm the dinner, is that right? What? No. No. Oh, I'm... don't kid yourself. As if you wouldn't want to slather me up in oil and cook me over an open fire. I swear on my mother's life, I would never do such a thing. Yeah, right, and I'm bandaged. Oh my god, how many talking animals have I eaten? Does it matter? I mean, if I'd stay silent just a second longer, you'd be sodden off to the missus with a full bag of game right about now. <laughs> it must be the fumes from the paint in the house or the nearby power plant. There has to be a reason. Oh, uh, whoa! Uh, buddy, don't get fuzzy on me. Uh, look. Guy, you, you can blame it on the smoke or the radiation or that. I'm some government experiment. Are you an experiment? Does it matter? I guess not. Look, the, the thing is, all those roads lead to nowhere. And, and the more you think about it, the more, the more tricked up you're going to be. So there's simply no point in trying to figure out this dilemma for your own sake. Why are you being so nice to me? I, <sighs> I could have been a killer. I probably am a killer. Take it from a deer like me. I was head of my branch in the first quarter. Then they find out about my grass consumption problem and boom. Wife packs up with the kids and leaves the comfy pine trees for Canada. Canada, they, they've barely got fresh dandelions over there. So now I gotta pay custody while my kids are running around the meadows with my ex and a new stud boyfriend, Steve. Steve! You're an enigma to me, honestly. Oh, hey, it's okay, dude. I know what it's like to be scared. I mean, believe me, humans, they're the worst. I guess so. I mean, you guys just have to be top of the food chain, don't you? What is it? 21st century? You haven't ever heard of, I don't know, mac and okay, cheese? Okay, I get it. What's your name, anyway? Uh, Joe. Oh. What's yours? Rory. Oh, right, that makes complete sense. But hey, what's in the name? Am I right? <laughs> hey, hey, Joe. You want to know how you can make it up to me? Yeah. Never mind, it's stupid. Uh, no. No, please, if there's anything I can do to make up for my mistake, I'll do it. No, that wouldn't work. I'm sorry. Uh, please. Please, I'm begging you. If you ask me for anything, anything, I'd do it. Knowing that I could sleep better at night. Well, OK. <laughs> Think about this for a second, right? This Steve guy, he, he really ruined me. You know, he took the wife, he took the kids. You, you get the whole picture. So if someone, you know, could just... Boom! <laughs> what? No! But, but you just said you'd do anything. Yeah, anything but that! Well, it only seems fair considering what you're about to do. You're seriously considering I kill another of your kind after what I've just witnessed? No way, sir. No way! It wouldn't make any difference to your lifestyle. You know, you get a nice warm meal in your belly and I get some quality time with the kids. What you're asking of me is murder. Oh, so now you grow a conscience. I think it's safe to say after what I've witnessed, I'm now a vegetarian. You'll be doing my wife a favour and all, considering that Steve's a polygamist. Yeah. Do you polygamist? Well, yeah. The attractive ones are anyway. <laughs> I'm guessing you didn't make the cut. Look who's talking, fatty, fatty bomba. You got enough rolls to open a bakery. Okay, fair. But I can't believe you'd want to do this to another of your kind. The level of animosity that you have towards Steve, isn't it a little barbaric? What about that show you humans call The Bachelor? I mean, that practically ends in bloodshed. The, the amount of hair pulling and water thrown in your face is it's downright savage. <laughs> Those women work hard to get where they are. Oh, I'm sure they do. Especially the ones that majored in, in a degree of barista, but claim it's a full degree. Oh, no, no, no. Tell me more about the bean to cup ratio needed to make a good latte. That's a real conversation starter. But think of the guilt. Do I need to remind you of your own lack of misgivings, Mr. Hypocrite? No, you don't. 
All right, that's settled then. So, first and foremost, let's lose the outfit. Lose the outfit? But this is hunting gear. And I'm feeling a lot of hostility coming from that checkered vest. You want to be approachable, don't you? So let's change whatever's going on here, OK? OK. OK. OK, so let's lose the hat and the boots. But these are hiking boots. Which means they're loud, especially when you step on twigs. Deer have sensitive hearing so they can pick up on danger, you know. And the hat? Come on, mate, it looks ridiculous. <laughs> now the vest. Steve isn't playing on playing chess with you now, is he? Ha, ha, ha. And one last thing. Uh, and a little bit of... I crown you Emperor of the Forest. <laughs> well, look at you. Aren't you something special, eh? Really? Yeah, all the other deer will be eyeing you up for sure. <laughs> you're not just saying that. Oh, no, my friend. Out of all the shrubs I've seen, you're the pick of the bunch. You've got legs that go on for days. <laughs> oh, shoot, the interview. Right, you got to go. I cannot miss this, OK? Uh, Cheers. Wait, but I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know if I can go through hey, with this. Hey, 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 just remember what I taught you and you'll be fine. Steve, on the other hand. <laughs> Hold on. I'm starting to have second thoughts about this whole thing. And I'm sorry, but I just can't go through with it. OK, smart guy. Think about this for a second. Just for a moment, imagine you and me. I have nothing and no one to turn to. I've lived a perfectly plain life with no real aspirations other than the drive to provide for the ones I care about. I'm fully prepared and happy for what's in front of me. And then one day, BAM! Someone comes up behind you just to end it all. Everything you've accomplished, everything you've worked for, gone. Just like that, and does that end there? Oh, oh no, my friend, because once that meat is done and useless, the hunter gets up and snuffs out another life, and another, and another, and it goes on and on and on to where? We're all wiped out. Just like that. And now you're probably thinking, well, why should I kill another? Why decide to create such atrocities? Well, if you're going to take us all out, at least do us the common decency in killing the ones that are the absolute scum of the earth first. Because if you do, if you do, You'll just be able to grab onto the smallest shred of dignity you have left, as opposed to having none at all. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a dumb deer, am I right? I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Everything that I put you through. You're right, it isn't okay. <gasps> More than anything, I want to go home. But I have a job to do first. And if this is what it takes for your forgiveness, then I'll do it. Oh my god, I can't believe it. You're gonna kill someone for me. You're gonna kill someone for me. <laughs> I get to see my kids. <laughs> wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go to start it. Oh, just go to Vancouver and look for the Lily Provincial Park. Uh, where in Vancouver? North Vancouver. Want to freeze? I can assure you that won't be the case. Cheers. How big is this guy, anyways? Oh, he's huge. When he's on his hind haunches, he's a, about as tall as an oak tree. But he'll be as stiff as a log once you're through with him. <laughs> Uh, better go then. And hurry. Cheers. Hi, Mum. Oh. Yeah, it's me. Um, how far is it from here to Vancouver by plane? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, something just came up. Mm. Look, I've had the strangest day. Oh. oh my God. Cannot believe he bought that. All right, dancer, prancer, blitzen, get on out of here. 